be time for some of the kids to go back to school. Where did the summer go? It is gone for Chandler students who will head back to class this morning. So if you're in the area, please be aware of that. Cameron Riddle has got some uh, stern reminders for you. He's near Chandler High School uh, with how the students and the teachers are preparing for the start of another year. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we're here in Chandler and these guys are just so nervous. The first day of school, everybody's quiet and shy, but I'm sure if we were all on Snapchat or something right now, everybody would have something to say and to put on there. Yeah, that's right. We are here in Chandler because this is one of the earliest school districts to go back here in the Valley and they're always so welcoming for us to come. So we're in Miss Angela Sacedo's uh, ninth grade English class and uh, everyone is so thrilled to be here. Miss Sacedo, thank you for letting us come into your classroom. Um, and Mrs. Cicero. Mrs. Cicero, how are we, um, how optimistic are we for the first day of school? I'm very optimistic. This is my favorite time of the year. I love, um, I love the first day of school. I love meeting new students and I love that I get to teach the ninth graders. This is a fun grade. You get to lot, put a lot of impact on them because this is, you are, uh, this is in the second period? This is second period. Okay, so you're their second exposure to a teacher in the high school level. Yes, it is. And um, I, I love this grade. Um, it's an important grade, but I love that I get to be a part of their academic and social opportunities and experiences here at Chandler High School. You have a lot of responsibility as a teacher, and at the end of last school year, of course, we ended it uh, with some uh, excitement, if you will, with Red for Red. We all got a couple of days out of school, uh, but in your teacher circle, how are you guys um, feeling with that just happened, and now we're starting a second year? You, you come back to make so much money as a teacher. <laughs> well, the focus is always on the students, and I'm just excited for um, the support that we received, and I hope that community support continues, but um, I'm just excited about the school year, and it's always been about the students, so, um, yeah. What is it that uh, people need to know that the students also need inside of these classrooms? you got a nice place here, and some things seem superficial, but you need a lot more than just uh, some decorations on the wall, because you also paid for that, too. <laughs> I paid for some of it. Um, just there, like I said, their continued support is what we need in the classroom. Um, just um, helping, you know, from the parent perspective and or guardian perspective, um, what we do in the classroom. Um, you know, we need their support as well. All right, to make well, it successful. We, it's going to be a fantastic year here at Chandler, and we had a couple of students that we get to talk to today too. So uh, Dylan was nominated by his principal because apparently he's a very special, really cool kid, coolest kid in the class. He gets to be on TV here. Dylan, how are we feeling about the first day of high school? Uh, feeling really exi excited today, and uh, looking forward to the year. All right, what, what have you heard about your new teacher? I've heard that she's pretty nice. Are you just saying that because you're on TV and you got to get a grade here? No, sir. No, no, sir. All right, some respect in here. I like that. All right, let's go over here to Rachel. I like it. You know, you can call me Mr. Cam. No, nothing, nothing too official. Rachel, good morning. How's the first day of school treating you? You didn't know you're going to be on TV today, but hi. Hi. Um, today was, it's been rough trying to find my classes. It's been rough. Yeah. What do we need to do to fix that? The principal's in here. Now it's time to make your demand. Nothing. It's just trying to find it. Just trying to find it. Are right. do you do you walk to school or how do you get to school? My mom drives me. Your mom drives you. How do people how are people driving out there? Because we've been we've been talking about people being safe on the way to school, putting the cell phone down and all that. Do you see a lot of that crazy stuff coming into school? No. 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 Why is it? Because you're on your cell phone while you're in the car, so you don't notice anything, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. As we've been saying all morning, when you are in these school zones, to put your phone down, put your Starbucks down, and pay attention to the kids crossing the street. The elementary kids here in Chandler are going to school right about now. The bell is ringing in some of the elementary schools. Uh, so watch out for the school buses and everybody else because we want to have a safe and fantastic year. And we're starting off the right way here in ninth grade English at Chandler High School. And thank you all for being a part of our studio audience here this morning. <laughs> morning so it's a good first day out here in the east valley guys back to you I